Once the high-speed steel blanks have been cropped off by a guillotine, they are induction heated and passed between revolving carbide dies to form the flutes. Jobber drills are then heat treated on this carousel. Certain sizes of jobber drill are also flute ground. As well as being finished ground by centerless grinding, jobber drills also have body clearance grinding before they too conform to the strict manufacturing tolerances. The most crucial part of any twist drill is the point. The accuracy of the holes and the efficiency of the drill depend on correct point grinding. Hundreds of thousands of drills are produced here every week, and they all leave the factory with perfectly ground points. Blue treatment is an additional thermal process to relieve any stresses produced in the grinding operation and impart a non-metallic surface to the drill. This reduces friction and absorbs lubricant, thus increasing drill life on ferrous metal. Most straight and paper shank drills have the distinctive Dormer silver ring patented marking method. A bright ring is ground on at the recess to highlight the roll mark of the drill size and our name. The position of the silver ring allows the markings to remain clear even when the shank becomes scored by the chuck jaw. So you'll always know what size the drill is and who made it. A tool made with such care demands as much care from those who use it. Make sure you've got the right type of drill for the job in hand. The information handbook will tell you. Make sure that the taper shank of the drill and the socket are clean and free from burrs. Otherwise the drill will not fit correctly and the tang will twist off or the drill will drop out. Don't ruin the drill before you even start work by using steel hammers or spanners. A mallet of wood or some other soft material such as hide or lead should be used. Make sure that the workpiece you are going to drill is rigidly held. If it bends or moves in any way, a strain is put on the drill which will reduce its efficiency and possibly break it. Keep the quill extension to the minimum. Select the correct speed and feed for the size of drill and the material. Direct an adequate supply of coolant to the cutting area, not halfway up the drill. And make sure too that you're using the correct lubricant. Above all, look after the point of the drill. Don't let it get too blunt. You'll only have to grind more off to get it sharp again. A blunt drill will warn you itself. Don't ignore it. A blunt drill will produce a poor finish and out of tolerance hole. A machine ground point is always more accurate and therefore more efficient than one ground by hand. Correct clearance is provided on all dormer drill sharpening machines. Each flank of the drill is ground from the same location point. Therefore, both flanks of the drill are identical. This simple model 108 point grinder is designed to provide a reliable general purpose machine for the rapid and accurate regrinding of twist drills by unskilled labor. Other dormer point grinding machines include this model 100 semi-automatic. It's able to produce a correctly formed point on all sizes and types of drill above 8mm automatically. 
The design makes possible the fastest and simplest changeover. One type of drill to another and from one length to another. The increasing use of numerically controlled drilling machines has created a demand for a more accurate performance from the twist drill. These machines position the drill with precise control, but the accuracy of the holes produced depends on the ability of the drill point to center itself and drill through to the spindle setting. Designed to meet this particular need is the Model 84 center point grinder, which produces a unique design of drill point. This point is remarkable in that it cuts not only along the two lips, but also at the chisel, minimizing drill wonder and oversized holes. This eliminates the need for punching, center drilling, or pilot drilling to ensure accurate holes in the exact preset location. The core, or web, of a drill increases in thickness towards the shank to give the drill rigidity. Therefore, as the drill is shortened by repetitive sharpening, it becomes necessary to thin the web at the point. This operation is better performed mechanically, as it is essential that it is correctly formed and equally balanced about the drill axis. Correct clearance, point angles, chisel angle and other features of drill point geometry can be checked accurately on the Dormer goniometer drill inspection unit. The economics of drilling, the actual cost per hole, depend entirely on the quality of twist drill and the care with which it is used and maintained. Sheffield Twist Drill and Steel Company Limited have been making quality twist drills since 1913 and produce several million of these tools each month. They are available in more than 120 countries throughout the world from Dormer Engineering Distributors. And whatever the need of industry, there is a Dormer drill to suit it. Whether you need a specialized drill or an all-purpose tool to do many different routine operations, you will find it here. To meet the exacting demands of modern industry, many millions of dormer drills are in constant use throughout the world. Drilling side body panels for the national bus. typewriter carriages and assemblies. Machine tool casting. Titanium components for Concord. Engine cylinder blocks for the automotive industry. Engine 
crankshafts of various types. Aircraft ejector seats. You can come down now. are in routine use throughout industry. A tap cuts an internal thread in holes from one millimeter in diameter to ones several inches across. They can be used by hand, by machine, and on many different kinds of material. Dormer taps are constantly used in industry for all kinds of applications, from the simplest jobs to the most complex. Each Dormer high-speed steel tap is a precision tool designed for a specific type of job, so it's essential to know which to use and why. Basically, there are three types of tap. The most common is the straight flute, short machine and hand tap. As its name implies, it's used for both hand and machine tapping. A set of these taps consists of a taper lead, a second lead, and a bottoming lead. The spiral point or gun nose tap